show me some fabrication skills. I got a welder in my in my garage sitting over there in the corner. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> All right, you guys, here we go. Day two, thanks for joining. Day one is up on the YouTube channel. Today, we're gonna dive a little bit deeper. We're gonna look at some awesome vehicles. Uh, we're gonna do some uh, walk arounds of new kit. And it should be a fun day. Right now, I'm gonna go up and get coffee, say hi to some folks, and then we're gonna hit the aisles and see what's new in the overland industry. Let's go. Yeah. So you did it up and up? Yeah. Good Henry, and, what's and up? Not, not a daunting way that I things don't have happen for you. quickly. Oh, what we're working on now is um, uh, the off-road stuff. No, for the, no. For the is community, right? We, we want the community connection and everything. All so we're doing a lot. Yes. You, you guys, yeah, Dave Hopkins, right. Boise, Idaho <laughs> member. You guys can tell how many stories Dave has by the fate of his hat. We're gonna, we have to this is what your this is what your Overland Bound hat should look like. <laughs> Hey you guys, I'm here with Tracy from Zargus Cases. We are, of course, at the expo. How's the show been for you, Tracy? Oh, it's, it's been great. This awesome. is awesome. The people are great. Yeah. Uh, it's a good community. We had some great coffee this morning. Had... Um, Tracy, hey, tell us about Zargus Cases. Just the, so the, the history and This is an 88-year-old company based out of Germany. Uh, yep. They've been there doing this for a long time. They know how to do it right. Yep. Uh, they don't scrimp on materials. We can take a look at the cases here in a minute. You'll see you know, some substantial differences in the way we do our cases. Uh, the company was developed basically as an aluminum fabricator yep. back in 1933. The design is uh, something that you can easily achieve by being in business for 88 plus years. <laughs> yeah, easy, <laughs> right? easy. I mean, nothing, nothing to it. Nothing to it. <laughs> I mean, I've already had them on 100 miles of back roads. Dust stays inside them, you know. I mean, it's they're, they're, they're great. So, yep, that lightweight. That's light. Yeah, totally. That's my favorite case, actually. <laughs> if these cases look familiar, it's because they're all the cool cases ah. in cool movies. Yeah, every Marvel movie. <laughs> now you're, you're all going to have to go back and watch all the Marvel movies, starting with Iron Man 1, and look for the Zargus case. Yep. What do you have new at the show so, uh, this, this, well, this, this year? This is a great feature right here. Yep. Uh, we're, we're introducing these. Unfortunately, right now we're on a wait list. It's yep. a little more popular than we expected. Uh huh. But. Uh, now it's a simple ratchet right here with this hardware. They're solid stainless steel. You put this into your T-channel and uh, you can situate these anywhere you want. Once so, they're on the case, now that's not coming off. These anchors are great. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a really good product for us. Cool. Very cool. The other thing I guess we could touch on, yep. you know, uh, we have these on the Overland Bound website. You can get your member number on it. Maybe yep. I'm stealing your thunder. No, no, go ahead. Yeah, please, please. <laughs> but, uh, you know, yep. we're, we're happy to do it there. Uh, we can work together if you want a foam liner or custom foam before they leave our factory. Uh, we're working together with Michael and Corey and yeah. just having a great time with Overland Bound and, and with these cases. And they're perfect for what we do. I mean, they really are. They're great. Tracy, thank you. Thank you, Michael. Yeah, it's been a pleasure. Hey, you guys, I'm here with Tim. He is the CEO at Roof Nest. Mike, behind the camera, is a Roof Nest owner. He really likes Thanks, it. Thanks, Mike. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, what's new at the show? Yeah, like, so, uh, so, well, it's very exciting here at the show. You yeah. know, tons of people here. It's really cool to see overlanding and interest in car camping grow so much. I yeah, mean, I've right. been covering these like, for a long the time, and, it's, and it's, it's awesome to see. So this is our latest tent. This is called the Falcon Pro. Kind of builds on what we did with the Falcon, yep. which is a super popular tent we introduced a couple years ago. Low profile, all aluminum construction easy yep. to add equipment to it crossbars and add recovery gear you know uh, kayaks bikes whatever yep. this one kind of furthers that the big change here is it's a stamped aluminum top so our other one's a honeycomb aluminum this is stamped it's a much stronger uh, mm -hmm. shell so if you're driving hit branches whatever this thing is going to be fine very cool. and the single sheet construction allows there to be room inside the tent to store your bedding which is awesome yep. um, and then this one has what we're calling the u-bar which is basically a bar that folds out and creates this shape to add more room inside the tent makes the side doors huge gives it a skylight and, and essentially it makes the tent longer because now you can imagine if your head and pillow are up here, right. you know, you got more room inside the tent. So the footprint yeah. of the tent can be smaller, but the inside space can yeah, still I mean, be big. You can just see just by looking at it that the volume's much yeah, greater. Huge, That's really nice. huge. Yeah, yep, and cool. it stands up a lot taller, so there's more height inside. 
Now, when this thing is closed, what's the height of the closed? Eight the, inches. Eight inches. That's nice. Yep. That's yeah, a, yeah. That's Super low that's profile. Cool. Yep, right and on. it comes with these crossbars, which I don't know if you can see those, but they're uh, two crossbars, and they also have these T-channels on them, which uh -huh. you can slide any piece of M8 hardware into it. Yep. Locks the bolt, head of the bolt, and you can attach anything you want, like an awning, sun shower, etc. Same with the crossbars. Yeah, I saw the crossbars on, on the top. Can you tell us a little bit about the load capacity yeah, of those so crossbars? Yeah, so we're saying it's 150 pounds when the tent's yep. closed, 75 when it's open. So if you wanted to do solar panels, that'd be fine. No problem. Yeah, that'd be no problem. Yeah, you yeah. could put yeah. other stuff up there solar, as well. Solar, yeah. recovery gear, yep. toys, you know, cool. you name it. Very yep. cool. Yep. Now, is that an accessory? Is that rail? Is that an accessory or does it come? It comes do with all, the tent. Oh, all, so this, this tent's four grand, thirty nine ninety five, and it comes with great. the crossbars, comes with the ladder. Oh, great. And cool. we're comparing it to like Alucab, Camp King, yes. Easy On. They all yeah, have like all aluminum construction burly tents, but they're all, you know, seven hundred to two grand more right. than this tent. Right. No, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Very cool. Yep. Hey, what else should we know? What else did what did we not talk about? Well, that we've got know? this tent that yep. uh, that we came out with this year. This is an update to our Sparrow that also has crossbar capability on top. Uh -huh. And uh, and like our Sparrow, you can store bedding in it. And then this one over here, that's our Condor XL. So we have all three kind of families of tents. That's yep. what really makes our 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 product line diverse. All right, Tim. Cool. Thank you so much yeah, for sharing. Really Michael. appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, you got it, man. Nice all to right. talk to yeah. you. Thank you. Overland Bound. How are you doing today, everybody? I'm Michael Houston from Shower Pouch. Uh, we sell hygiene essential products for the active adventurer. Everyone knows us for our, our two full body, uh, two foot by one foot full body wet wipe, tough as nails. Um, you can boil them in water, you can stick them in the freezer, has a three year shelf life, comes in three different scents, cucumber, bamboo, and our new citrus. And for those who don't like scents, we also have unscented as well. Uh, we sell a hand sanitizer as well as a foot soak. Uh, which is new. So no one has seen this before. Our sustainability model is to repurpose and reuse. So after you get done using your shower pouches, you can uh, wash them with your dirty clothes. Now you actually uh, turn it into either a shop rag or in this case, turn it into a shower pouch 2.0. Uh, but really appreciate everyone coming out today and everyone have a great Overland Expo Mountain West. How's it going everybody? My name is Sam and I'm with Rig Supply and we're over here at Overland Expo Mountain West. We are the makers of the Ultra Swing, and what that is a hitch mounted tire carrier and accessory, accessory carrier that swings out of the way, swings a full 180, so you're able to access the rear of your vehicle without having to take anything off. This specific unit can carry up to a 40. We have a table, we have Rotopax mounts. Again, we're over here at Overland Expo Mountain West. Come check us out. Crazy. So there we go. So this is the lava box. You guys can stay out there if it's too hot. I got a s'more though, if you want a s'more. All right, no breakfast s'mores. So this guy, this is the tabletop volcano. It goes to 120,000 BTUs. This is the lowest burn. At this level, four hours per pound. And then if you crank it, of course, you're gonna run through some gas, but it makes a big, big fire. Uh, the next one is the Krakatoa Fire Breather, 200,000 uh, uh, BTUs. Great for like a big group, big party. Uh, and then of course the rocks, if you're gonna cook with it, this retains the heat, keeps it really nice. That one's 155 no rocks, 175 with the rocks. And then if you want it coated, 185 with the rocks. Fireanytime.com. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> hey you guys, these highlights videos are brought to you by our community software app, Overland Bound One, free on iOS and Android community trips and events, and map resources all for free. Layers, MVM, places to camp, all that kind of stuff. We're always adding new stuff to it. So go and download Overland Bound 1 on iOS and Android. All right, let's get back to it. Right on. You guys, hey, Nate, how come we've never met before? I don't know. I guess I, we just haven't been like, in the same place at the same time. So we were crossing <laughs> yesterday. I was like, hey, yep. what's going on? Yep. How's the show been? Show's been awesome. It's my first time at Overland Expo. Another reason we might not have met yep. before. I'm yep. new to doing these really big events like this, yep. and it has been a mind blower how, how big this is. How long of a journey was it for you from Pacific Northwest? Well, I went from, how long did you take? I went from the, I, me and my family went from the Pacific Northwest to Virginia, because yep. I have family over there, and then went to Oklahoma, awesome. and then back up to here. So we've been on the road for almost five weeks. Wow, that is yeah. awesome. It's been wild. How's the rig been? 
rig's been awesome cool. which is great because i've i worked on it for a year uh -huh. and then i basically finished it and like rolled it onto a trailer behind my rv and was like just fingers crossed we got like seven thousand miles yeah where i'm gonna be using this constantly <laughs> so i hope it all holds and luckily it's all been holding together right so. on so we'll go through in great detail in the future at some point maybe just tell us a little bit about it for just, anybody who's not who, okay. who doesn't know about your rig just do i'll do yeah, a rough just over do, rear. yeah just let them know what you did here so this is on it's on 37s uh, i didn't want to use the stock land rover axles for that so i've got a set of one ton super duty axles in it yep fabbed all that myself i fabbed the bumpers the rack the i mean all the little bells and whistles the gold wing windows all that which sounds like that's how you saw me on the internet yep they'll go gold wing window of video many videos i was like i yeah. can do that maybe with his help <laughs> yeah, and, well, and you might. Yeah, <laughs> Maybe no, we'll work that awesome. out. <laughs> that'd be awesome. Um, so Nate, you were talking, we were talking before that camera thing started rolling um, about approaching it from a rock crawler perspective and yeah. getting into overlanding as, oppo as opposed to approaching it from uh, a, a, a non-rock crawler perspective, getting into overlanding it for the first time. Uh -huh. He had some very good points. Bring yeah. it, bring so it. So I guess I should, start, <laughs> I should start by saying, I've got a YouTube channel called Dirt Lifestyle yep. and it's all started with just fabrication and builds. That's mm -hmm. all I did. And then after like a year or so, I started doing more outdoor content and now I've been doing the Overland stuff. But the reason that, so I, I originally I got into the off-road space because of camping like most of us, but immediately I was drawn to the rock crawling. And then I, I've been all about rock crawling forever. Now I'm coming back into camping. I've got a young family. Yep. And so coming at this now is a lot different than it would have been when I first started off-roading when I was like 19 because I have all this fabrication experience and rock crawling experience. And so immediately I was like, the Land Rovers was pretty capable stock, but I needed it to be able to handle any situation I didn't plan for. And let's underscore Pacific Northwest. I grew up in Humboldt County, Northern Northern California. Uh, You're in the Pacific Northwest. Yep, I'm in Tacoma. And the, the terrain that yeah. you run into naturally is, can be hardcore right away, right? It can be. And, yeah. and uh, like we were talking about earlier, you could be camping and a giant rainstorm could come out, wash out a road or yeah. a snowstorm can come and you have feet of snow behind you. And so to have a winch, to have lockers, like to yep. me, these are, these are basic necessities for me. They are for everybody, but I want to always know that if I go into the remote areas, I can yep. get out safely because I have the equipment to do so. Yep, and being in that position, you know, you're not going to find yourself in a situation you don't want to be in, right? You're going to be able to get out. Exactly right. That's cool. Right on, Nate. Hey, let's do something. Uh, maybe you can show me some fabrication skills. I got a welder in my in my garage, sitting over there in the corner. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'd love to, man. That'd be great. That'd be cool. Right on. All right, thanks a lot. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, it's Adam here at Step 22 Gear. We're here at the Overland Expo Mountain West. Uh, we'll just do a quick rundown on some of our storage bags for your adventure travel. Starting here, we got the, uh, the Hedgehog Toiletry Roll. So if you're on adventure travel, you have no place to set your phone or your keys or your pack towel. Uh, the built-in bag allows you to drop your stuff in there, be hands-free to get clean. When you're all said and done, the Hedgehog rolls up and ends up in a bag just like you see here. Moving down the line, now we've got the tortoise toiletry bag. So uh, designed to be used on a countertop. So if your adventure travel has you uh, with a countertop in your rig, or even if you're doing hotel travel, your typical men's dop kit with the mid zip is a black hole and it, you have to take everything out to use it. So with the tortoise, you're able to see everything at once, take an item out that you want to use. You got a built-in workspace, removable pouch. If you need to leave camp, just take a few items with you. you can take that out and that folds up nice and clean like that. These are our Stingray flat boxes. There's four versions of it. Two of them are the full size, which is what you see here. There's the Stingray and then there's the Stingray minis, which are half the size of the standard. So if we put those two, you see them like that. Uh, this is the standard version and this is the HD version. HD being uh, for tools and, and really heavy use. It's a heavy coated nylon um, on the interior and the exterior. The standard Stingray has our, it's a gray interior, perfect for clothes, camp kitchen, dry goods. Uh, the smaller version right now is very popular as a coffee kit, so all your coffee kit fits in there. Um, they're padded all the way around, so it's also great for camera gear and electronics, charging, uh, cables. There's a removable divider. Step 22 booth, if you guys are around, please come by and see us, get hands on stuff, that's why we're here. And other than that, if uh, you can't make it, we wish you're here, but of course we're online at step22gear.com. I'm here with Chad, All Dogs Off-Road Co-op. And it, tell, tell us where you hail from, where, where yep. are you guys from? So we're out of Lincoln, Nebraska. Yeah. It was about a seven hour drive to get here. Yeah, right on. 
And then what do you guys do? You guys focus in a very specific area. What do you guys do here? Yeah, so actually our biggest market is the Nissan Frontier, Nissan Xterra, which is uh, a market that's not very strongly served uh, in the aftermarket. So yep. you'll see a lot of guys, you'll see a lot of parts for Toyotas and for Jeeps and that sort of thing, but there hadn't been much support traditionally for Nissan. What's your most popular swap, kit, suspension upgrade? Well, right now our most popular kit is what we call one of our complete kits uh, mm -hmm. for the Nissan Frontier Xterra. And it's, uh, we pair Bilstein 5100s with our own coil springs and leaf springs that we have manufactured here in the USA. Nissan was uh, very forward thinking in some ways. The nice thing about the Nissan Frontier and Xterra is they share the exact same frame as the Nissan Titan. And right. so what guys have found way back when is you can actually take the lower control arms and a lot of the suspension components from the front of a Nissan Titan and they'll swap right onto a Nissan Frontier um, and uh, combined with a uh, specific length coilover you uh, end up with uh, basically an extended travel setup for maybe half the cost or even less than what it would cost to do the same thing to like a Toyota Tacoma. Right on. So. Brandon, we're, we're going to do this to your Xterra, okay? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Got a few big projects in the works right now. Um, one thing that you'll find in the aftermarket is there's not a great selection of wheels uh, with the 6 on 4.5 bolt pattern. Uh, so we're currently working through a design. Uh, we'll have wheels hopefully the roughly the first quarter of this coming year. Cool. Uh, we're working on a new ring and pinion. Um, for the what's called a, an M205 swap. You can take the Titan front differential and swap it in. You go from like a seven and a half inch to an eight inch front diff. It's much stronger. Um, tell, me about, the, um, uh, tell me about these big red shocks on your table here. Sure, yeah. yeah. So uh, we set up an exclusive partnership with Kony. We're gonna be bringing their heavy track shocks in for Toyota mm -hmm. and Nissan applications. Um, they ride fantastic. I mean, and they're gonna be uh, they're going to slot somewhere between like a Bilstein 5100 and 6112 for price point. So we're thinking around 500 or 600 dollars for the four corners. Uh huh. And they just they they eat up the bumps. They just ride awesome. fantastic. Oh, so great, fantastic, Chad. Thank you. Yeah, very thank much. you very Appreciate much. It. Yeah. All right, you guys. That is day two. Now, you guys see some jeeps doing some crawling around this dirt track behind me. If you guys are new to overlanding. Here's the thing, we always say, it doesn't matter what you drive, and it doesn't. You can go a lot of places, but it does matter where you drive it. You gotta make sure that your vehicle is capable for what you're gonna ask it to do, and get some experience behind the wheel. Your new rigs will surprise you with their capabilities, and there's no better place than go into a tr controlled environment to learn what your rig can do. You guys, thanks for hanging out with me. Until next time, Outfit Explorer, we'll see you on the trail.